What it do, Flight Crew? FTC. Flight Team, stand up! Once again, it's April. FTC, stay faithful. We got the 76ers at the New York Knickerbockers Game 2. Knickerbockers. Brunching. OG and a booty. Randall LeJohn. Even Chenzo. Emmanuel quickly. And the rest are nobodies. Oh, Hart and the rest of nobody. We got the Sixers, Maxi, and Beto Joel, Fubre and Kelly, Kenya Martin Jr., Tobias Harris, and the rest are nobodies. Imagine letting Hart do that. And Beat is just walking. Bro, if and Beat, if you're not at least at 70%, bro. I mean, shit. It seemed like he 100% on offense and on defense. He's like 20. And Beat's already getting double team early on in the game. Got Ubre and Kelly. Whoa! Assistant principal jumping up everywhere. Oh, I forgot Lowry and Kyle in the lineup. Even Chenzo with the three. Got him B pulling it up. Top of the game. Knicks won the last game. Starting out 1 0 in the series. Nice shot. Whoa. Swing pass to Hart. And they're going to like a prostitute. No, but you know what, Tyrese, he's out there, he's giving it a go. But I want to take you guys back to yesterday. There was a film session that the Sixers had. The last four games against Philly. Got Uber, swing pass to Maxi. Maxi driving, Maxi finishing. Maxi scores again. McBride. Got a 10 day contract play. Iso on Harris. Got a nobody doing a somebody move. All right. Maxi just going to step back. Bottoms. Four threes by Maxi. He's having another lucky night, I see. Got a 10 day contract there. Holy moly. Swing pass in B. They make those. Swing pass to Harris. And that corner like a prostitute. It's Harris' first three since it looks like Thanksgiving. Swing pass to Hart. Wow. I think they just be forgetting Hart's playing in the game or something, bro. Swing pass to Maxi. Whoa! Wow, and B didn't even bother jumping, bro. Lazy. Bro, trying to draw that foul. With 18 and already with a double double 16 and 10. And one! Brunch in. Got Harris. Okay. Wow. Brimming with confidence. And Ubre is going to shoot it over Robinson. Hart with a rebound. Hart. Bro. Get the fuck out of here, bro. Dog, this NBA generation defense is pathetic, bro. Yo. Nigga. Like, come on, bro. Where is the damn early 2000s at, man? Because, bro, Hart wouldn't have been able to cross half court. Bro, Rondo would have ripped him, bro. There have been so many point guards ripping him. You allow this dude to do this move? Get the fuck out of here. He's like, when it's like certain shots, it's just like, bro, it's not even like that to be doing that. And beat a Joel? Damn. DiVincenzo? Wow.
Brunson take it on Uber. It gives it to Hardenstein. That nigga B bro, it's so easy to score on a beat. I noticed that. Oh. 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 Damn. We got the Batum dude. Okay. That man Batum. Fuck, I just broke character. I'm mad at that out. He'd be checking in at the late third quarter and just hits random two threes. Got an assistant principal with the floater. Clap! Oh! OG and a booty with his first bucket of the game. Wow. Floater. And the little floater is good for Tyrese Maxey. Got a geography teacher with that quick three. Whoa! Another one. A geography teacher getting ahead of himself. Whoa! Ten day contract player ripping Maxi. Ten day. So I be trying to tell y'all, man, these playoffs, man, they, they be igniting damn near. Come on, man. That dude got signed less than twenty days ago. Lowry. Got a lucky three by him right there. Finally, Embiid with the block. His first block is fucking shit. Win. Nigga don't play defense. Back court? No. Sixers really be running Maxi and Lowry at the shooting guard position, bro. <laughs> These niggas don't got it. Yo, that's funny as hell. Geography teacher just does lucky floaters and makes him. Three seconds for Embiid. Whoa! Under four minutes. Maxi. Got brunch and swing pass. See what I'm talking about? Geography T should be getting the floaters. And B letting damn near. Bro. Taking a few haymakers. After the rebound, Lowry makes contact with the ball, which causes the ball to come loose. Therefore, there is no foul in the play. Wow. At the time of the whistle, there was in the possession by MB. Therefore, be Philadelphia basketball. Nigga, what are you even saying? That is a huge challenge. Maxi gives it to MB. Gives it right back. Maxi rises. Maxi! Jumper. Philadelphia Maxi. Damn. B got the ball to Maxi. Oh shit! Got 31 seconds left. Nick and Bakas are down. Shut up, Sech. 101.99. Uh oh. What? I'm confused. They didn't call nothing? He missed. Oh! Geography teacher got the board. DiVincenzo again? Oh! The Sixers are set! What the fuck just happened? Maxi lost the ball. I mean, I ain't gonna lie. That's a good no call. That's a very good. It's usually in a regular season they call that shit. Maxi is not the best actor. Fell to the ground. Loki was a travel. I'm surprised he didn't just blow the whistle. 
It should have been some type of a tall. They just let it play out. I mean, shit, W refs playoffs. They usually they usually be on uh nuts. Then OG and a booty pass to uh DiVincenzo? There's a full 13 seconds left though. I ain't gonna lie, Nathan Biker should not be that excited. 13 seconds left. Maxi or MB should be the only one shooting the ball. Maxi, slow it down. Maxi. Maxi. Max. 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 Slow down. Slow down. What are you doing? You have eight seconds on the shot clock. Low key, they got away with the moving screen. This is a shit shot selection by Maxi, bro. You're not Derrick Rose, bro. Your shot was right here, stepping back right here for the mid-range. This whole thing was open for you. And if Hart would have came and helped out, you had Harris. And then if Hart recovered from that, Embiid would have been open. Bam. Maxi, you're not the main character, bro. Calm down. Bro got blocked by the geography teacher. Got him feeling himself. First block of his career. Good job. Got six seconds left. If they even make the free throws, they're only down by three. If it's me, if he makes this free throw, I'm taking foul coming up the floor. Commentator suggested they should take a foul. Maxi pass the ball, bro. Give it to Embiid for the three. Maxi's not passing the ball. To Embiid, late pass. Didn't even get the ball up. <laughs> this this Sixers team is lost, man. Yo. Bro didn't even get the ball up in time. Yeah, I mean, he did. But, bro, what are you doing, Maxi? What are you doing, bro? Batum was wide open, doing way too much. Held the ball extra, passed to be like, bro, what, what is this, man? This is what I be trying to tell y'all niggas, man. Like, the NBA is nothing but niggas that just chuck and run down the court. Niggas don't even have IQ no more. I don't, like, in the next five years, point guards are not going to exist. All, the, all, all you're going to see in point guards is just being able to chuck up a three and then rim run. All Maxi knows how to do, all his brain is literally functioning to do is to rim run and chuck up threes. He doesn't have, I don't even know, honestly, even how he even made it to the league. He just probably got a lucky couple of, you know, scouting and had a good team behind him or something. But, bro, looking at Ma Maxi is literally the average street ball player. Good elite street ball player. And what I mean by that is basically Maxi is a good player, but he only is able to do two things. Chuck threes and rim run. He can't pass the ball. Matter of fact, I think Maxi averages less than four assists a game, especially being under like 6'2". That's really bad if you're being honest. Um, he, he doesn't know how it seems like most of the time the only thing he understands is pick and rolls. You know, he doesn't never really wait and settle and let the play develop. Uh, I feel like he doesn't do a good job of getting his teammates set up. All he does is think about the three-pointer and then just rim running, bro. Like, there is just no way in hell you set up and bead with a weak-ass shot like this. It's simple like this. Right there. You pass and bead the ball right there. That's a full two seconds. And bead could have low-key did a... I think if bead really wanted to do, like, some type of a step back... You gave him an, uh, one of those type of uh, awkward shots. It's really one of those types of awkward situation where it's like you give the ball right as the defender knows where you're going to go, bro. You know, you had literally two options. You had either, if I personally, shit, I know Batum, bad him. Damn it, I just broke character twice in this video. Maxi, Maxi! Personally, a nigga like me, I would have most likely fake passed and beat. I would have said some shit like this. Come down the court, huh? That would have got those defenders right here biting, this geography teacher right here, and then OG and a booty biting on a bead. And then his 10 day contract player probably would have put the attention on you a little bit. Battle would have been wide open. And then let's say DiVincenzo had to recover. Bam! Quick pass to Uber and Kelly. Left handed three. Come on, man. Higher flight for the coach, man. Who's the coach for the Sixers? He don't know what the fuck he's doing, bro. With two, with one. The Knickerbockers should not be up in a series 2 0. This at worst should be a 1 1 series. The Knickerbockers have zero fucking talent. You guys are making the Knickerbockers look like contending championship titlers. No. Wow.
You have to blame the situation for the Sixers. The coach's fault for not giving Maxi. I mean, I mean, shit. You really, it wasn't been able to teach him anything about passing the ball the best way. Um, you have to slightly blame the coach for bad play calling. Uh, 100% on Maxi or, or 50%. 50% on the coach, 50% on Maxi. Um, they sold y'all the game if you're all Sixers fans. That was the best breakdown I, I felt like anybody could have possibly did um, for that game-winning shot. Let's go ahead and look at the box score, and that's going to wrap it up. The Knickerbockers take this game, and they are up in the series 2-0. to zero. For the Sixers, Harris had 10. And beat at a good game, 34-10. and 10. Maxi 35. 10 assists. And he was too lazy to get one more rebound. He played every second of the game and would have had a triple-double. Um, and if we're being honest, too, like, if Embiid and Maxi's not going off, the Sixers team literally has a slim chance. Like, bro, this is really scary. Imagine the Sixers getting swept. I see the Sixers winning one game at home, but this game is going to finish up in five. I, I, I think I said, what, like six or seven games? I see the Knicks finishing this game off uh, series off in uh, five games, man. Um, you know, this out of every game, the Sixers needed to win this game. Everybody on the Knicks is playing good. 21 for Hart, 15 rebounds, bro. That shit is just crazy, dog. Dude is playing every minute of the game. Uh, 10 uh, points for OG and a booty, 14 for the geography teacher, 24 for uh, Brunchen, and uh, 8 rebounds and 6 assists, 19 for DiVincenzo. All right.